Hello and welcome. This is Freedom Master and Freedom Trainer Vedant Goswami. I'm back after a, a kind of a big gap, but uh, hopefully we'll be more regular soon. So let us start. Today we are seeing a game in which uh, Magnus Carlsen defeated uh, Super Grandmaster Alexander Belyavsky, one of the strongest players of the 80s, in only 19 moves. So the game was played in Chorus B tournament Waikanzi in 2006. So let us see how it went. Carlsen started with E4, E5, NF3, and NC6. Bishop B5, which is the Rui Lopez, A6. Bishop A4, NF6, Castles, and B5. Bishop B3, all very regular stuff. Bishop B6, Bishop B7. Uh, Belyavsky goes for the ultra sharp Archangelsky variation. Uh, it is a very active variation of the Rui Lopez, but uh, demands very exact preparation. Carlsen reacts with a very solid d3 supporting the pawn on e4 and uh, also blunting the diagonal of the bishop on b7. Bishop c5 and knight c3. d6. And now it is a time for white to do something. There are a few options. Knight d5 can be played. Bishop g5 can be played. But usually is a bit premature in these positions because it can be pushed around and uh, black can even afford to play g5 because the king has still not castled. And another option is trying to loosen the pawn structure of black queen side with a4, which is what happened in the game. a4 was played. Now the regular move is b4 and the knight can regroup to g3 via knight e2, which is a very... Rui Lopez-ish type of maneuver. So knight a5 was played, gaining a tempo on the bishop on b3, bishop a2, and now b4. So the only difference in this position from the one which could have occurred is that you know, the knight on a5 is a bit misplaced and again will require investment of a tempo to bring it back into the game. So knight goes to e2 and is ready to land on a very lucrative f5 square one the, once the black king castles and along with you know the pin on g5 and the other knight it can create very good attacking chances for white pieces and always we have this bishop looking long way on f7 so black played bishop c8 a very interesting regrouping maneuver planning to exchange the bishop on e6 and blunting the edge of the bishop on a2 a reasonable maneuver c3 so but uh, Carlsen immediately starts some action in the center to gain advantage due to the time that black lost in you know one putting the knight to the corner and then spending it on regrouping of the bishop so black does have lost some time he still have not castled and it is the time for white to create some tension in the position, some direct threats to, it, to take advantage of that. So b into c3, b into c3 and bishop b6. Otherwise d4 comes with a tempo and reduces the options for black in that he can react in limited number of ways. Knight g3, so white has regrouped his knight properly and uh, here best Move would have been castling, quickly putting the black king to safety, but uh, Belyavsky plays bishop e6, and now with the move d4, Carlson achieves an ideal central position in this variation of Rui Lopez with two pawns in the center. Bishop into a2 was played again. Castling was an option. Rook into a2 and castles. Finally, white castles. Black, sorry. Finally, black castles and bishop g5. Already, the spin is quite dangerous. Knight h5 coming. It is very difficult to bring additional support to the knight on f6. e into d4 was played. It is a careless move. 
even the best move here should have been H6, at least asking a question. And I'm sure Carlson would have replied with Bishop H4, ready to sacrifice the piece on g5 if black chooses to play that move e into d4 was played and nh5 now already black's position is kind of beyond repair because uh, the pin on f6 cannot be resolved and additionally the plan of nh4 and f5 will be winning immediately so dc3 carlson plays the very strong nh4 it is very impressive even in the way it is looking, the whole cavalry of the white pieces are attacking the black position, particularly the g7 and the f6 squares. So king h8 was played, knight to f5. And in this position, black resigned because the weak points on g7 and f6 cannot be prevented. Black plays any 6 a regular move, then f to g7, wins the game immediately. So let us say a variation, bishop d4 can be played. Again, knight f5 can come. If rook g8, then bishop h4. If bishop goes to e5, f4, and black loses all his pieces. So amazing game, amazing punishment of the opening accuracy by a young Magnus Carlsen and a great, great achievement defeating an extremely strong grandmaster Alexander Belyovsky of Russia who even played in the candidates. So I hope you enjoyed the game. And uh, do like and subscribe if you enjoyed this particular video. And I'll see you in the next one pretty soon.